Hi, everyone. Uh, this is a shout out to those of you who get migraines during barometric pressure changes or, you know, get arthritis or asthma attacks uh, when the weather changes. So this is for you. Uh, this is a tool uh, that I stumbled upon in my quest to figure out how to manage my migraines a little bit better. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a medical professional. There's a bunch of medical professionals in my family tree, but I am not a medical professional. So just wanted to get that out there, just sharing my experiences. Hopefully it gives you a starting point. So just a little bit of a preamble first. For the longest time, I thought it was just a real bad sinus headache that I was suffering from. Uh, it's only been recently, as more people kept saying, uh, you know, I think it's a migraine. I'll drop the link down below. This is the American Migraine Foundation. Uh, they do have this lovely timeline uh, and they detail all the different stages, the four different stages of a migraine. Yeah, it only took a minute of study and sitting there going, oh, wow, check, 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 to realize, yeah, this, this is not just a sinus headache. It is definitely a migraine. Uh, the only thing I'd say that's missing, there's two things I think that are missing here, having um, you know, been tracking several cycles. Uh, the sensitivity to light and sound, I would include smell because I am quite sensitive to the change in the, the negative ions in the air. Uh, and uh, the other thing I would add is some of my friends have reported to their ears filling up or clogging up. So uh, because ear, nose and throat are all connected, I, I suppose that would be, you know, nasal con congestion. So that would be sinus congestion, ear, nose, and throat congestion. If you are at all sensitive to weather, the first thing your doctor will tell you to do, like my doctor told me to do, is to start keeping a log. This is the tool that I want to share with you all today. And it is basically because I am in the irritable stage of the prodromal phase of the migraine and irritable enough that I, I, you know, I want to strike back by sharing this information with you. So if you are at all sensitive, you can start fighting back too. There are other weather apps out there and other websites. This is my favorite. So uh, yr.no, uh, make sure you choose English unless you want to try figuring out Norwegian. Um, it would be a fun challenge, but I, I don't recommend it for any of us who are in the middle of a migraine. Pick your city. So I will pick Calgary. Uh, what you have here is not enough detail for your headache log. It's some detail, not enough. You can click on graph. Uh, gives you a little bit more. I mean, if, if you're more sensitive to precipitation, then gives you a bit of an idea. Uh, if you're sensitive to wind, if you just take a look at this here, all the different wind direction changes and woo, we jump up there to what, nine meters per second. Uh, you can change this. The, this is the default. Uh, that just reads headache, headache, big, bad headache. Uh, where I want to direct your eyes to is the bottom old website. Uh, again, pick your city of choice, choose hour by hour pick detailed because that's still not enough information. Now we have enough information. So pick your, pick the mediogram or the detailed forecast, whatever works best for your learning style and your brain power at this moment. Uh, so any of us who are affected by barometric pressure changes, it's this green line that you want to pay close attention to. So uh, we've been dropping down I think since this morning, uh, I'll drop this link down below. It's uh, CBC, a uh, really good explanation by Dr. Raj. He goes on to, to detail how half of us get the migraines before the big weather change. 
or like before the drop and half of us suffer afterwards. So yeah, I'll put this link down below. Uh, there's also a little description on how a Chinook works. Yeah, Chinook arch really pretty means headache. <laughs> uh, I've done enough tracking to know that my headache is going to, I'll hit stage three uh, as this pressure, the pressure starts to, to climb up. Um, and that I will hit that post dromal stage close to the top here. So that'll be what, Thursday morning? Uh, and then I'll have a few hours of clarity there when the pressure starts to drop. So I'm going to go out on a limb here. So just remember, I am not a medical professional. I'm an educator and a communicator. Uh, I just have lots of medical professionals in my family. So I have that healthy respect for medical science and research. And yeah, I was a science fair kid. So, you know, like my research. So I'm just going to go out on a limb here, though, and say that probably the stage two gang hits that pre-dromal stage uh, probably sometime like in that later phase of group, I'm in group one, by the way, uh, hence the hat today. Uh, so yeah, somewhere I'd say in that ascent it will be the beginning of that prod prodromal stage. Uh, and then the drop will be the headache stage. So the way this month has been going, the pressure has been going up down like a little slithery snake there. You can see that actually with the temperature going up and down in the weather. Yeah, migraines every second day or every day and a half. It's been fun. But this tool alone and get the app because you can see a little farther in advance and you can take a look down here as well. It at least gives us weather sensitives two days advance notice. So like my headaches here, I, I I just keep my, my migraine hats in the freezer and make sure that I've got my medicine close by. The, the big addition that's been making a difference is magnesium. So that's the other thing. So your doctor will probably take a look at your log and have to make that call about whether or not it's best to send you to a headache specialist or just tell you to beef up on your magnesium because we're deficient uh, and, or prescribe magne um, migraine medication. Yeah, sorry. Prodromal words are hard right now. So. so yeah, at least that gives us a few days notice. And that is pretty much how that works. So it is very personalized. Uh, this is another reason like, well, everyone's brain's different, right? So it's, that's why it's really important for us who suffer from weather changes to start keeping track. Our doctor needs to see the information. It, it helps for us to see the pattern too, because there actually is a pattern. I consistently hit stage three when the weather part, the barometric pressure starts to rise. So that pattern I've ascertained. Uh, the beginning of postdromal, I've recognized. Uh, prodromal, I'm finding harder to recognize just because we've been going up and down in cycles. So it's hard to tell if. I'm still in postdromal, or if I'm in the new, uh, a new phase of prodromal. Gotta love Southern Alberta. Anyhow, that is the tool in a nutshell. So, and if you have another weather app or website to share, please drop that down below in the comments. Uh, but that was the main thing that I wanted to share with you all today because. Uh, just having that little bit of advance notice uh, helps. And then, I mean, with each round, compile your list of symptoms, start figuring out how to reduce those triggers or mitigate those symptoms. So right now I've got the, the blue light filter on because, yeah, super senses in the prodromal stage. Yeah, and most of you who are, you know, suffering from arthritis and asthma attacks, uh, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say you're probably group two, because if you think about it, as the pressure's rising, your joints are getting like this really tight, tight hug. And then 
So that's a huge difference from inside and outside. So that's, that's paid. So I don't know if this is the case with um, other people who suffer from sinus migraines or migraines with nasal symptoms, as one of the scientific sites says. Yeah, for those of you who are wondering what it feels like, sinuses, head. So it feels like someone's blowing up our head, our sinuses. And of course, this isn't going to change size. This is just going to keep pressing until the pressure drops. That's what it seems like. So anyhow, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, if anything, I hope this prompts anyone who is sensitive to the weather to start keeping track to start doing research, to start taking control. Uh, because it is frustrating. <laughs> it's debilitating if, you know, left untreated. Uh, I mean, I've been there too. I've been on the floor crying, not being able to do a thing lying in a dark room. Um, I just hit that point where it's like enough's enough. Got to fight back. Time to fight back. So yeah, this is my video to share one of the great game-changing tools that I've been using. What I'm hoping to do in the next little while is compile a guide. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's going to be on the, the studio Patreon uh, that I'll be setting up because the students and I have decided it's time. Got to start working on that. Uh, or if it's going to be available uh, for sale on the website. I'll suss that out. If there's anything in particular that you want me to research or put into the guide, uh, send me a note or drop it down in the comments, ask questions, and um, I'll go on a merry hunt and put that into the guide, as well as share some of the tips and tricks that I've learned in my journey uh, ever since the doctor said, hey, keep track. I've, I've got a few other projects on the go. So it's just that, that whole challenge of trying to balance everything while working around the weather. So uh, please be patient, but do look forward to that. And again, uh, if you liked the video, uh, do hit the like button, uh, drop a comment or a question, subscribe or subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And that's it till next time. So in the meantime, stay well, stay healthy, take care, and catch you in the next video. Bye.